everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we have a, an incredible treat. One of the <laughs> nicest Transit Connects I've ever seen. Thank you. This is Milo, the builder and owner, and uh, welcome to the channel, Milo. Thank you, happy to be here. And I've got to tell you, when we go inside, folks, you're going to be blown away. It, <laughs> I can't believe it's a Transit Connect in there. It's definitely tiny, but I spent a lot of time planning to utilize every space I could. <laughs> It's it's stunning. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you. And you have a your own YouTube channel. I do. Yep. It's just my name, Milo Malloy. Um, you can search just Milo Van on YouTube, and it'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of people are watching it, so it's because it's so good. You should watch it right now. Watch this video to the end, then go watch it. So, yeah, it is fantastic. The job you did. Thank it you. Really is. I've really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us a little bit about the Transit. It's, uh, what year is it? And... Yeah, it's a 2013 um, XLT. Uh, it is the one right before they cut off the roof. Right. So it still has the tall roof. Um, gets great gas mileage, uh, very small. <laughs> uh, mine has two doors on the sides. I blocked one of mine off to get a garage in there, which you'll see, but um, it does have two sliding doors, but yeah. Right. And. Uh... When you say good gas mileage, you're getting up near pushing near 30 miles per yeah, hour. Yeah, um, my build is a little bit heavier, so um, like going uphill is really hard. But yeah, I would say 27, 28 that's, is where I get. <laughs> everyone that I know with the Connect has said that that's very realistic. Those aren't yeah. inflated numbers. Yeah. That's really what you're getting with them. Mm -hmm. And so, do you mind if I ask how much you paid for it? Yeah, I paid a little over seven grand for mine, and it was about 150,000 miles. So, a little bit higher mileage, but I wasn't worried about it with Fords. They usually last pretty long. Right. Um, and this was a commercial vehicle before, so it had very thorough maintenance records, like all that. So, felt good about buying it, even with the mileage. Right. Mm -hmm. So, are you full timing? Um, almost full time. I'm going to be full time in about a month, I'm saving up some money still before I make the plunge again. Um, I used to be full time when I first bought it, um, and then since then I've been on and off part time. Mm -hmm. So you uh, you bought it and then you lived in it for a while before you did your build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought it um, when I my relationship ended and I needed a place to move into the next day. Um, so I went out, bought it. Bought an air mattress, bought a cooler, bought a bag to store my clothes in, and just left everything else behind and kind of went in there because that was the situation I was in at the time. Um, and then as I was living in it while still working in the city, um, it was really easy to stealth park in that thing, especially before I had solar, before I had all that. Um, and then, yeah, I moved out of it when I got the chance and then moved back into it and out of it. So I've been in and out um, since 2019, but I'm finally ready to go back full time soon. And because you've really enjoyed the nomad life. Oh yeah, yeah. Every time I go back into an apartment, I'm always like, gosh, I wish I was in my van right now. <laughs> um, I wish I could be watching TV or Netflix out in the desert or out in the forest and, um, or just wake up to a sunrise, you know? So I, I definitely miss the nomadic lifestyle every time I'm in an apartment. <laughs> And you're fortunate to have a job that will allow you at least partly to work from distance. Yeah, I work in IT, so it's pretty easy to work remotely. Um, wherever I can get an internet connection is where I can work. So, yeah. Right. That, that is just such an amazing thing. <laughs> yeah. So you, uh, you've done it enough to know that you really, really love being a nomad. Yeah, definitely. Um, I like both moving around all the time and finding a place to stay put for a little, a little while. But I always like doing it in my van for sure. Right. And having the job that works with it so well, that's just heaven on earth. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very lucky. Uh, when people go and see your build video, they're <laughs> going to be really blown away at your skills, at how you've taken such a tiny space and made it look fantastic and really used every inch. Yeah, I tried my best too. So, <laughs> so I guess you you're going to start making a transition to helping other people do their own builds? That's what I'd like to do, yeah. Ever since I posted my tour, I got a lot of requests for people asking to help design, build, um, consult, all of the above. So I'm just very honored by it all. And I'm not a professional by any means, but I'd like to learn how to become one. So, yep, I'm definitely going to be taking on some projects, helping people build out trucks, campers, vans. Um, but tiny spaces, I think, are my specialty, finding some place for everything to fit, even in spaces where you wouldn't think it could, I think is my strong suit. Right, right. <laughs> I get letters, I get emails constantly. Bob, do you know anyone who you can recommend to do a build? <laughs> so you can be as busy as you want doing doing that work for as so. long as you want. <laughs> 
So if people are interested in getting some help from you, mm -hmm. um, how can they contact you? Um, so they can find my channel and all my videos to see what I've done with my build, um, Milo Malloy, um, on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, I also have a website, milomalloy.com, and there's all my contact info on there. But my email is info at milomalloy.com. Very good. So folks, be sure and go there and learn all about how you can help get Milo to help you build your, do your build and, and see what he's done. I think you're going to be really, 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 really impressed. So Milo, would be okay if we took a look around? Yeah, let's, let's go look. <laughs> let's do that. Let's go take a look, folks. Um, so in this little tiny house I've built, I wanted a kitchen space, a workspace, and then obviously a sleeping and lounging space. So starting here with my kitchen, I have a butcher block countertop um, kitchenette here with a sink that's seven inches deep, um, just cold water coming out of the tap here, um, and then all of my spices, a knife rack, my backsplash is not tile, it's just a sticker um, to save on weight and all that. Um, this is my upper cabinet storage. I've had to add this little lock here so it doesn't come flying open. But Nice. Yeah, I got a little bit of storage up there. Nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, down here is where I keep gray water storage, um, Teller's dog food some more supplies kind of tucked there in the back and then this is where i keep all of my dishes uh utensils i even have a um oh what are those called induction burner like one little thing down below there and i only use that when i'm plugged in somewhere but um yeah, it works really well um more storage for like my solo stove um i have a coleman oven back there which is fun uh you could make cookies and stuff in the forest which is really um over here i have my monitor which hooks up to my ipad is how i usually use it and it has all the accessories right there um this is really great for when i'm editing photos and stuff so i have the big screen um or just watching netflix and stuff in bed um it's on a swivel so i can swivel it out side if I wanted to, but I mainly just keep it right here. Um, in my workstation area, this piece can fold back in so my feet can go here, but this is my little fold down table, which sits on my lap. So my keyboard and mouse can go here so I can work really handy from here. Um, and then it just folds. That is a very, very <laughs> folds right back there. Yeah, I know I needed a table in here and it kind of got to a point where I didn't know where to put it. So I was like, I'll just mount it to the wall and make it work. And then up here is my over the cab storage. Nice. Um, so you can see parts of my build still need help. Like this little beast needs help. This I'm going to redo. So still a work in progress, but always, always. Um, that is really deep storage where I have like my sleeping bag, my toiletries bag, and all my clothes. Um, and I even have a little uh, heater up here. So this little heater just plugs in um, right here. And it is really small and only takes 350 watts to run it. And it puts out quite a bit of heat for this little space. So I only have to run it for five, 10 minutes and takes the morning chill off, which is really nice. So underneath my bed is mainly my storage for my pull-out kitchen. My fridge can pull out into the cab if I need to access it from inside. Um, and then the whole thing pulls out like this. That is nice. Yeah. We're on a little bit of an incline right now, so I'll have to open this to keep it open. Unless you have bad weather, this is the... Uh... Yeah, I this is the way to cook. I do everything on this table. I do art out here. I paint um, anything. This is amazing to have this little outdoor table. Yeah. Um, and Take then your chair here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and then, yeah, the fridge pulls out like that. And this is an Iceco Go 12 um, fridge. I really like it. It is great on the power consumption. It's 12 and a half liters. So if you. Uh, eat a lot of food or like to go out for weeks at a time. It's probably not for you, but for me, it works really well. Um, lots of storage in there. Yeah. Yeah. 
especially your stealth in, in the city. So yeah, you, know, I mean, you don't need to have two weeks worth of food in there. Exactly. Yeah, it's never been an issue for me. Um, and then in this storage compartment, I have my uh, camp stove, pots and pans, my propane, um, just some cookware under that. You can see under the bed, it has a coiled extension cable. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you close the drawer back up, the cable recoils and bunches up really neatly so it doesn't get caught in the drawer sliding out. Um, that was a really good idea. <laughs> thank you. Did you get that from Amazon as well? Uh, I think Home Depot, that guy. But yeah. I'll have to look into that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and that is my little fold-out table on my door. Um, that is just so handy for absolutely everything. It's great to have that second work surface when you're cooking. Um, that's where I put usually my plates when I go to plate food is over there. Over here on the side of my kitchen, I have a little waste basket. My fire extinguisher is behind there. It's really easy to grab if I needed to. So I blocked off my wall or my door with a wall because um, I didn't need two doors, but I did want a garage space. Oh, that is so <laughs> nice. Um, so this is where my fresh water is stored all my tools, uh, my lights my uh, for the campsites, um, rope, my dry bags that I was talking about, um, water pump, my electrical gets routed through here. So this is kind of the, the hub of a lot of stuff. Um, so if anything breaks, like electrical or my water pump isn't working, it's all really accessible. Really accessible, it's um, right there. Yeah, and swapping out water is really simple. I don't have to open up my entire build to swap my water. Right. Um, and I can carry quite a bit for how small it is. <laughs> it's amazing what you've got in here. Yeah, 10 gallons uh, gets me pretty far. And instantly accessible. That's yeah. just, uh, that's pretty amazing. So I have my stool that I use out back and then- Oh yeah. Um, uh, is a Dutch oven and then whole bunch of just, oh, sorry. <laughs> just a whole bunch of storage on the back of right. my seat here. Right, uh... So on this side, um, underneath Teller's dog beds, um, I have my window coverings and then my pop-up bathroom tent right there, some DoorDash bags, and then this platform can come out and I have an e-bike stored under there. Wow. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's a folding e-bike. It comes apart in three places. Um, so it's super easy to pull in and out. Um, it can charge off of my battery right in that storage compartment. Right, while you're driving? Yep. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Never would have guessed you had an electric bike. <laughs> Not in a million years. This is kind of like my bathroom area, I would like to say. So this is my uh, pop-up toilet. Um, shower and then toilet paper and stuff all get stored in there and then this is Teller's tent. He's got his own tent. <laughs> he does have his own tent. <laughs> Good. So to go to the bathroom and take a shower uh, you have the the uh, pressurized how, what do we, how do we call that? What's the brand name? Of, this isn't the normal brand name. It's a doctor prepare one. It's the same idea though where you like pump it up with your foot after you add the water in to add right. pressure and then it does have the nozzle and everything. I've never seen this. This is a pop up. Uh, uh, yeah, I can show this to you. So I really like this one. Um, it has all these little parts. Okay. And you put this in the bottom so it stays rigid. And then that's the potty. And it's uh, <laughs> strong enough to. Yeah, hold me. <laughs> And then I keep these biodegradable bags inside. So you just put one of these liners in. Um, and then normally I would use like horse pellets or something like that um, if you're doing number one. But if number two, you just take it out really quick, bury it, and it's all biodegradable. Yeah. Right. Very, very clever. Yeah. Very compact and nice. I would say most of the time I use public facilities. This is right. really just... When you're in the city, this is kind of just an emergency backup. Yeah, but when I'm at a campsite for more than a day, I'll put the whole uh, tent up and have this just in there. Um, so this is my divider pocket door. Um, it slides out of the way. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then he loves jumping right back <laughs> there. Um, yeah, so this is great to add more light in. Um, if it's raining, we can just go from the cab to the back without getting wet. 
uh, if I have to run into a store somewhere for something, I can leave Teller back there and just close it up and not have to worry about him sitting here barking at people. <laughs> yeah, I really like having this pocket door. I knew I wanted to close off the cab because it just looks nicer when it's all closed up from that side. But I wanted a way to get to the back if I really needed to. So I wanted the battery to be viewable while I'm driving sure. so I can watch it charge. Um, Cause sometimes with these goal zeros, you have to unplug this little power input and plug it back in to get it to reinitiate charging. Um, especially if it reaches 100%, it'll shut off. And then you actually have to jiggle the plug to get it turned back on. And your uh, bed pulls out. It does, yeah. That half is already pulled out. This is so I call, that up front would go back, slide back if you wanted it to. Yeah, so I can have the full walkway here. Um, but then this part, so just like that, and then goes back. That's hard from this angle, but yeah, goes nice. back in. Yeah. Really nice. So Milo, I'm just incredibly impressed with what you've done. I, it's the most efficient and yet beautiful van I think I've ever seen. Thank you so much. Uh, for this size, I mean, it's just really amazing. Tell people again how they can get hold of you and how they can follow you. Yeah, my YouTube channel is just my name, Milo Malloy. Um, you can search Milo Van on YouTube and you'll find me. Um, and then my Instagram is also Milo Malloy. Um, and you can find all that information on my website, milomalloy.com. Well, Milo, thank you so much. I just can't tell you how much I admire what you've done. and, and uh, and I also admire that you're so young and taking this kind of chance and mm -hmm. choosing your very best possible life. That's that's really admirable. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, choose the best possible life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you've done an amazing job. Thank you. So folks, I be sure and contact Milo if you have any questions or comments. He's a very kind guy. He'll help you and do all he can to help you. And if you're looking to do hire someone to do some work, mm -hmm. Milo's available. <laughs> and I think you see the quality of his work here and so folks, uh, I'd really love to hear what your favorite part of this build was. The bed, the garage, uh, the toilet. I just, there are so many, it's impossible to choose. So, so rank in order your five favorite things and uh, tell us how you are going to apply those to your van and your life. So I'd really love to hear and see that from you. So Milo, thanks again. Thank you. Folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, Hit that thumbs up button and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.